What's going on Omni Buddies? Mitch here and today we are doing another Omni Buddy overview. What are we looking at? We are looking at Jeff Lemire's and Dustin Nguyen's, I would say masterpiece, Ascender and Descender. All right, so this is, uh, now that Ascender just came out uh, pretty much this month as of the making of this video, January, 2023, uh, Ascender just came out. We had reprints of Descender volume one and two. Uh, you got the whole series here in three oversized hardcovers from Image. Glorious, glorious books. Um, just for the, People out there that don't know, my volume two is a DCBS variant. So the normal volume two that you're gonna find in reprints is black. So don't freak out, it goes white, black, white on those spines. Uh, but I decided to go with the DCBS so I'd have that nice, pretty clean, uh, bright white Descender and Ascender star series. So uh, get that out of the way so that people aren't freaking out like, where is that? Why does that volume two look different? It's like the exact same, only it's black versus white for the variant. So that's that. Uh, anyways, I started reading this series because Lemire is one of my top favorite creators. He's an amazing writer, such a good artist. And then he teamed up with Dustin Nguyen, which that dude's art is just on a whole new level compared to most every other artist. The guy's insane. I friggin' love his watercolor style art. Such a cool style. Absolutely love him. If you're not following him on Instagram, make sure to do that. So when these two guys teamed up for a space opera sci-fi uh, series, I could not pass it up. So you know what? Enough talking about it. Let's check it out. So Descender is collected in two oversized hardcover graphic novels. The third graphic novel, Ascender, is the sequel to the first two, which wraps up what happens throughout the entire saga. The first two concentrate more on the idea of AI and harvesters, while the third novel, Ascender, follows what happens after the events of the third ten years later. Descender and Ascender are brought to us by the creator team Jeff Lemire, who you may know from Essex County or Black Hammer, Underwater Welder. He is prolific, to say the least. On art duties is Dustin Nguyen. Dustin's style is very much in the similar vein of Lemire's with the watercolor look, but obviously Dustin's got his own spin on things. And these two make a powerhouse creative team. They have built an insanely huge world uh, that revolves mostly around nine planets or nine, not necessarily realms, but nine districts, areas, planets, whatever you want to call them, within this universe. And each one has a very distinct flavor, look, feel, culture, really. And so inside of this world, they have built small worlds, which is where we find ourselves with Tim 21, a young android who we don't know what his whole story is, but he finds himself awake on a colony, left alone. And that is where our story begins. And pretty quickly, the entire galaxy is wrought with chaos when these enormous giant robots appear and they are nicknamed harvesters. These harvesters destroy everything in sight and take all the AI with them and it brings about basically a mini apocalypse. These worlds are left in chaos and Tim 21 seems to be trapped in the middle and he is kind of in the middle in that he is AI, he is a robot, but he has a family. He has Andy, his brother, who is a human, but they have a love for each other. They have a bond, a connection. And though they may be separated at times, they are always looking for each other, trying to help and trying to do good and trying to do right by AI and robots or live flesh and blood. 
It is a huge spanning series that takes place across so many worlds and it is so diverse in cultures. I love this series. I'm trying not to purposefully say too much about the story and give you more of an idea of the feel because I don't like giving away stories and I don't like spoiling things. I'm one of the people that like to go into a story, into a movie, having not heard much about it or not watching a single trailer because I want to go in there clean, unspoiled, and have the most pure experience I can. So what I will say about Descender is that it is a beautiful story that takes you all over the place and really draws you into these different characters. They may be on different planets, but they feel connected. They are deep and slowly over the span of these three novels, you get to learn motivations and they grow as characters. They're not static individuals. They all have their different quirks, their highs, their lows, their pros and their cons and their struggles. And throughout these stories, you really get to know them and feel for them. And when characters die, because yes, I will give that spoiler, when characters die, you do feel it, which is great. I do not enjoy when a main character dies or something bad happens to them and you don't feel anything. When characters have things happen to them, good or bad, when they die, When they discover things about themselves, you feel it right along with them. Lemire's writing is beautiful. His dialogue is deep and it is fun and it is interesting. And to go along with this, Nguyen's art is exactly the same. There is so much nuance in his art, in his colors, in how he portrays faces, in all the crazy amounts of details that he puts into the robots and into the technology behind these worlds. If you just look at the covers, if you look at the panels, they are gorgeous and they totally support what Lemire does within this story. The first volume is dealing with the harvesters and what happens with them and to them and you're wondering this mystery and you're left with this mystery about who Tim 21 is and what his purpose is. In volume two the mystery of these harvesters is very much tied to Tim 21 and who he is and is he intrinsically tied to them? Is he bad? Is he good? Can he choose between the two and what is his destiny? And with this destiny you find out more about the harvesters and what happens and to the pinnacle of the story where an even more catastrophic event takes place. After the events of Descender Volumes 1 and 2, you are brought out of the world and universe of deep technology and AI and robotics into a world of nature. And that is Ascender. This continues the story 10 years later with Andy, Tim 21's brother, who is now a grown man and has a family of his own. And who this family is and how it came to be and where they are at now is revealed throughout the book. So I won't talk too much about those details. It is a beautifully told story where old characters are slowly introduced back. New characters are introduced right along with them. And all of this just fits so perfectly. And again, speaking of that naturalness and nature, This world and this universe are no longer ruled by electronics and electricity, but they are ruled by magic. And the balance has now shifted from electronics and electricity to magic and nature. And it is a huge pendulum swing, especially in 10 years from the events of Descender Volume 2. And this continues the lineage of Andy's family and what their destiny is. And is it Tim 21's destiny? Is it Andy's destiny? Is it his daughter's destiny? And this whole book is about revealing the balance in the universe. Is it supposed to be technology? Is it supposed to be magic and nature? Or is it supposed to be something in between? And it's a sort of tug of war between these two worlds pulling back and forth until we can find out how we can have a balance if we can have a balance and what that balance is. When I was reading reviews for this series, I came across a Goodreads review by an author named Bradley 
who summed up my feelings perfectly with this series. I love sci-fi, but this is why I love sci-fi. All right, so that was a quick look at the Descender, Ascender series uh, by Lemire and Nguyen. Such a cool series. And you know what? Actually, so they took a little break when Descender came out and then Ascender started coming out. And I thought they were going to, I thought it was halfway through the series, not two thirds of the way through. Uh, so I was kind of surprised as I was reading, I'm like, wait a minute, this is starting to wrap up in Ascender. Are they going? And then I realized it doesn't say volume one or two on the, uh, on the spine. It's just, it is. Uh, so I was like, oh crap, I thought I was going to have more. But you know what, they, you know, so I, I was anticipating getting more, but as I was reading it and as it concluded, it it concludes so well and wraps wraps everything up and just has a nice little bow on everything. Uh, nothing comes to mind that was just kind of left off and, you know, like no missing plot strings or anything like that that weren't tied up. I mean, there's characters that you don't really see anymore or anything like that. And yeah, they could go into all that and explore more. But overall, the story in and of itself is concluded and concluded so well. Uh, very satisfying ending. Absolutely loved it. Uh, if you guys want to pick up this series, which I highly recommend you do, if you love sci-fi, if you love space, if you at all love Lemire's writing or Nguyen's art, you cannot go wrong with these with this series. Uh, if you want to pick it up, you can hit up the channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. Use code OMNIBUDDY for two bucks off every order. Or if you're going to order three books or more, three books, uh, you can use code OMNIBUDDY, ship it together, all one word, and you can get 5% off your entire order. They all ship together. So maybe if a book's back ordered or something, you might be waiting for uh, that back order to come in a week or two, and then they all ship together. But hey, you, you save on shipping, you save on price, you gotta wait a little bit, but you know, it helps the environment. You know, you do all the good things just by being a little patient. Anyways, make sure to hit up OPB, grab these books. If you can't hit up OPB, grab these books. I don't care, just grab these books. So good. You're gonna be so sad you missed out if they go out of print, out of stock. Do not miss out, that's your warning. They, a couple of these books went out of stock uh, and out of print for a while and they got really hard to find. And then with the third book coming out, they came back into print. They reprinted those two uh, to coincide with that release. So there's not gonna be any more uh, story going forward as of, as of now. So. Don't miss out because that means they might not reprint. And if they do reprint, it's probably gonna be a very long time until they do. Uh, I, I'd love for these to stay in stock and be evergreen because it's that cool of a story. But not everything can stay evergreen and in stock all the time. Anyways, that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, do all those things. But the most important thing to do is comment. Let me know in the comments uh, what your favorite space story is. Uh, I love this story. Um, I'm not sure it's my absolute favorite space story. I mean, Saga is a crazy good story. There are Sentient, also by Lemire, crazy good story. So many good space stories out there. Let me know what one of your, like maybe your top five list or you know your top couple that come to mind, what your top few stories are that take place in space. Let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.